Hey everybody, welcome to Hills and Gales. Good morning. If you're uh if it's morning when you're watching this video, it is while we're cutting it. Yeah, I drink my coffee. I have a mason jar and I like it so strong that it walks. Call it tar coffee if you want to. But today we're gonna be painting up some jig heads. And uh, I have one of my subscribers. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Jeff Rowe. He's getting into jig tying and he was wondering how we paint our jigs. And everything's going to be down in the description, hopefully. I hope I can find the, the clear coats, but I will share we where I picked that part of uh, uh, of the uh, stuff that we use when we're painting our jigs up uh, in the video as we get into that section. But anyhow, uh, guys, you don't have to have a lease pot. You don't have to go out and buy lead or whatever to do your own jigs you can go to walmart i picked these up right here for this video these are tube head jigs these are the laser sharp hooks eighth ounce they also had them in a quarter ounce uh, they got number one hook on them excellent for walleye hybrid uh small mouth white bass you get it and uh you get 10 i gave like 249 you can get them from like 1 16th uh jig heads unfinished at walmart all the way up to bass size jigs at a super great price we buy a lot we don't always pour them like i said and right here are some that i've done back in the winter in the tube heads as you can see this is ready to go in the vise and be tied uh here's a creek chub that we done a video on back in the winter this is a killer for the river lake as well for those small mouth and then here's one that we use in the rivers for those southern walleye this is a little pink head uh, orange with a little yellow hackle or a little chartreuse hackle on it and it came right from one of these boxes right here so with that being said guys this is going to be a little bit longer video so if you're not in long videos this may not be for you and as well if you're interested in the material that we use drop me a comment i'll be happy to share the threads that we use where i pick up certain threads uh, when I'm using color threads and uh, the materials, I'll be more than happy to share some of the materials that we use. We don't break the bank here. I don't run out and buy super overpriced stuff when we're tying jigs. Uh, I shop around. When I find good quality stuff, I buy it in bulk. And uh, yeah, it makes it fun, not expensive, because everything that we're fishing with nowadays, fishing through the moon. And I'm not into that kind of stuff. But without further ado, I can sit here and blab all day. We let's paint up some jig heads. Okay, the first thing that we do when we're getting ready to paint up our jig heads is we want to get them flattened or aspirin type uh, on these round balls, or even like today, what we're using a tube type jig head. I want them flat where I can lay that eye down there flat on that. I don't want it to have no lip on it or anything like that. And I use pliers when doing that. This is one that we poured ourselves. It's already finished and got the eyes on it. And we're going to use this one right here today. And this is a set of, I call them linemans. Uh, this came out of my electrical bag. I used to do heating and cooling electrical. And you could pick these up like at Walmart. You could pick them up like at Lowe's. Uh, anywhere it sells tools like that. And I like the grooves in them. You can see these grooves right up here on the flat part of these pliers. And the reason being, when you start tightening down and squeezing that jig head, this kind of digs into that lead and you don't have to worry about that round ball head, tube head, whatever, kicking out, making an odd shaped jig head. It will stay flush and flat for you. And you can really put a good squeeze on it and get it flattened out to add those two and three D eyes. Now, the way I do this, I'll take the jig head itself and I'll bring it right back into the pliers, just like so. And I want that hook and I want that eye of that jig flush aiming right back toward the back end of these pliers right here. So I'll just line it up just like so. And then I'll just give them a quick squeeze. You can really squeeze that lead in flat. How big or ever eyes you're going to put in, that's how much pressure you want to put on it to make it flat. And you can see right here, there you go. You've got a flat side on both sides. And you can see right down through there, that jig head is still perfectly formed right there. It's not odd. It's not thicker on one side or on the other, vice versa, whatever. And this one right here is ready to be primered, painted, 
and the eyes laid to it. It's as simple as that right there. Okay, we're getting ready to do a primer coat to our jigs. I got this little basket right here. This was a flare basket. I gave like a dollar for it at a junk store. I ripped the material off of it, and I can load it up with like a bunch of crappie jigs on this right here. If I'm going to keep it stationary, but if I'm going to hit it with UV resin, and I don't want to hit the wipe every time I just take it out in the sun, let them dry within seconds, this is what I use here. And I like just using single grooves around through here when I'm doing bigger jig heads. And I just drop it right down in the center like this uh, in each groove. That way I don't have to worry about them bumping each other, touching each other, and destroying that paint job on them. So get you a piece of styrofoam. Get you a paper box if you want to that you can stick them in, stick the hooks in. Anything to keep those jigs as you're painting them up, priming them up. To keep them from sticking against each other because that can happen it's happened to me in the past but this right here is the way i go with it with just a nice little rack i sit right on my desk so now we're getting ready to primer some right here and this is what i use for primer this is la colors 164 white it's the only fingernail polish i use now i can get this at family dollar for like a buck a bottle it's dirt cheap it is a super strong fingernail polish and like I said, not all of it has the sticker up here on the uh, cap, but if you do get it with this, it's got hardeners in it, which makes it a harder fingernail polish, as you can see. And I use the white for primer. That way, if I'm uh, going to be using like a brighter color, it's just going to make it pop out like a chartreuse, maybe. So we're just going to do a few right here. Uh, we're just going to prime up a few, just put a little bit of fingernail polish on and just brush it on just like so you don't want to gob this fingernail polish on you want it to dry quick if you want to do another coat of white on it if you're going to be going with a white jig head you know uh put you a couple coats on it or if you're going to be using like i said the brighter colors you want to always go back and put you another coat of white on uh it's just going to make that pinks light blues all that just to pop out super bright for you and it gives you a nice looking pink when you do that right there now right here's one that just took a few seconds to dry and i'm going to add one more coat of white to it because we're going to be doing this in pink and as you add this uh white to it you can see those grooves starting to fill in right there which i'm not worried about them because i'm going to be laying and a 2 or 3D eye on this bad boy right here. So I just go right back over it. Making sure that there's no dark spots on it or anything like that. And there we go. This one's ready for a primary coat now. This is a 516. You can see it's got the harders in it. This is like a hot pink. And we're going to be just making a solid pink jig head here today. So... And the, again, light coats is what I use. And it'll probably take like two coats of the pink, which is perfectly fine because this dries super fast as long as you put nice thin coats on it. If you try to gob a lot on to get it with one coat, it's not going to work. I'm just going to tell you, I've, you know, I've learned that through trial and errors. But I just put one thin coat of pink on just like it's right here and then within a matter of a minute or so this is dry and it's ready for the final coat okay guys it just took about a minute for that pink right there to dry so we're going to add one more coat to it here and again don't drench the jig head with a lot of ferno polish you just want to give nice little even strokes I either go from the front uh, to the back or from the back to the front. I never just go all over with it. I just give nice little brush strokes all the way up to one end or the other, whether you're painting back toward the hook or you're painting toward the head of the jig. And you can see right here how that pink is just popping out on it right there. And this is ready for eyes now. Two little uh, thin coats of pink and you've got a nice pink color jig head right there. Okay, we're going to be doing one in red. This is in like a 400. This has also got the hardeners. And a lot of times you don't have to put two coats 
with like red, dark colors, you don't really have to put two coats of white on. It's like the brighter colors, the oranges, the chartreuses, uh, the pinks, and so on. But with like a red or like a black, you just have to add one coat of primer on it and then just slap that color on there like a red, a black, a dark blue, uh, colors like that. And you're usually one and done. Uh, with these types of jig heads like this right here. You just want to make sure uh, that you go completely all over that jig head. And this one's right here, this red, it's ready to be, uh, the eyes added to it, and uh, ready to be clear coated. Okay guys, next we're going to add a few little tones to this jig head right here. And the colors I use when I'm doing like a sexy shad, uh, top jig head. I, this is called a zing uh, that you can see here. This is a gel blue. Then I use chartreuse. I've already got my white on from where I painted it. And this is just a super simple way. If you're going to do like a pink and white or anything like that, I usually go right down the top of the jig head, about halfway down, and then right around the top. Nothing fancy. I just add a little bit of color to each side of it. I leave that center white for that sexy shad look just like it right there just add a little blue to it and then i just come right over i'll take my chartreuse which again this is day glow in the chartreuse and the la colors and i go right up the belly of it and i go right up and meet that blue with it leaving that center white just like so, that's kind of like a little sexy shad look. You can see the chartreuse in there. Uh, I'll add a little bit more to it right here. Right on the belly of it. And there you go. Kind of like a little sexy shad look. I've done some big jigs in this pattern right here back in the winter. Then I'll just let that dry there. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about flake. You can get a ton of different types of uh, clear flake uh, LA color fingernail polish. Uh, right here is one. Uh, this is like a clear metal flake. You've got your pinks. Uh, you've got your brown clear flakes. Uh, your blues, your chartreuse. Your, uh, this is one of my favorites right here in the chartreuse. You've got your just your silver light metal flake. I've got a ton more over through here. You can get like purples in it, and this is ideal for putting over like a primary coat. Uh, we'll do like this pink right here that we painted just a few minutes ago. You can just go ahead and take like some of this pink like flash right here, and it just gives it a little pop. You know, like if you're fishing in a, like a bright sunny day, uh, this has got that uh, hardener in it as well. It's got that sticker up on the cap. And I kind of just go all over that jig head with it, wiping some of the excess off. I got a little bit too much air that happened. And you can see right there how it just makes it pop out. It gives a little shine to that. And it also helps bring that shine out into that pink. Uh, this is one of my favorite patterns right here. I'll take like a blue. And then... I'll get some of the clear blue metal flake here. We'll be sure to wipe the brush down this time. And I'll just go over it, covering the entire jig head with it. And this just makes for a nice, custom-like jig head right here. When you want to get this done. Just a few strokes with that brush right there. And there you go. You can see how it pops out. That crushed blue look on that jig head there will add some eyes to it, and that's going to be one nice head right there. This is called Iced Lemonade, guys, and it really makes that chartreuse pop out. Um, it's a uh, got a lot of flake in it, a lot of fine chartreuse flake in it, and when we once get it painted up here, a little bit of this goes a long ways. I'll show you how nice this looks over this chartreuse fingernail polish that we just done a few minutes ago here. See, if I can get my camera to focus in there, it's kind of bright. It just gives it a nice flake look to it. 
you really want to get creative with like your jig heads and stuff, you can get you some fingernail polish and you can just go and just use your imagination and you can really turn out some really pretty custom looking uh, jig heads like this here. Now next we're going to be adding some eyes to them and then we're going to, I'll be showing you how I put that final protective coat over top of these jig heads. The pink one that we just done, I got the old vice out for this because I like having steady hands when I'm adding eyes to this. And Loctite Super Glue. My favorite super glue on the market and I use it on my collars and also on my eyes. Now this pen right here, uh, this is ideal for doing this kind of stuff, even doing collars. You ain't got no mess and you can see that little tip right there and it works perfect when adding eyes. Now these eyes, I got like 800, 1,000, I really can't remember. I got like four or five sheets of different color eyes, blue, red, uh, shad, natural color eyes for like nine or 10 bucks off of Amazon. Links down in the description for that. But we're gonna add a couple eyes here with this pen in Loctite. What I like doing is turning my vice sideways and then I just push right down, kind of holding that jig head and I kind of push down and just give it a couple nice little drops of that paint there. And then I'll come right over here to my eyes, pick the color that I want. I'm gonna go with kind of a natural shad. You get a, you get like a pair of tweezers for this, but I never do use them. I just lay it out right down where I want it at. Kind of push it down a little bit, getting that crazy glue to seed in with it, just like so. And then I'll come right around to the other side, turn my vise around. I'll take my Loctite, holding on that hook shaft. Next up to that jig head, I'll give it a couple of hits there. And then I'll just pop another one of these eyes off of that little card. They're sticky, but they're not that sticky. I like adding that uh, super glue to it. Then I'll just place it down. And firmly press it right down, allowing that super glue to cover the bottom. And there we go. And it's ready for that top coat now. Super simple, easy to do. You could turn these out really fast with one of these little pins right here. Or if you prefer using just uh, like the Loctite super glue, like it's right here. Uh, what I like about it. Uh, it's super easy to clean off and you got that uh, tip right up here and you can just put the perfect amount in and it is a really good glue. So I strongly suggest using the Loctite. It gets the job done for you. Okay guys, we're down to the final thing that we do. It really doesn't take long doing this. I'm kind of doing this step by step in a video. Now, if I'm tying or going to be painting smaller jig heads, say in 1 in 30 seconds or say 1 16th, like a little crappie jig, kind of like it's rotten. Uh, this is a rotten pumpkin as I call it right here. Just one of my favorite little ties. Uh, orange head, got a little hackle. I'll hackle on it. Now with this, I really won't go with UV resin on a paint job on the smaller type jig heads. Uh, with that being said, most of the time I'm fishing around, you know, like for crappie and so on like this. And I lose a ton of these when I'm out there fishing. I don't add eyes really to them or anything like that. Uh, so I go with Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. Uh, you can pick this up at Family Dollar. It's like $2.39 a bottle. And this is some really, really good hardener in the fingernail polish hardener. I used to go with LA Colors, but this beats it leaps and bounds. So I've not used this in a couple years. I really like the Sally Hansen, and I'll show you how to do it here. I've got this, this little jig heads unfinished right here. And what I usually do is I just take a small bit on the end of the brush and I just brush over it. It gives it a nice shiny look. Plus, you can lay some right over that collar if you're tying jigs. But if not, just put you a nice coat on it. You don't want to gob it on. You don't want too much. If you want to add a second coat, you can. Uh, this dries super fast. This dries faster than fingernail polish, uh, in my opinion. 
but it gives it a nice shiny coat like it right there and it's going to protect it and no it's not like uv resin but on like smaller top jig heads uh like this little fella i got right here that i'm going to be tying up uh that's all i go with just some sally hansen it does the job because i'm fishing a lot of brush when i'm fishing for crappie and pan fishing stuff and i got a tendency of losing a lot of these little fellas so i don't put a lot of work into them let's talk about uh like your walleye jigs your bass jigs even your big crappie jigs that you may want to add eyes to or not add eyes to something you're going to be beating and banging in the rivers with maybe something like a big bucktail like this uh, for those uh, smallies or white bass or hybrid or whatever I go with UV risen that stuff is like freaking super strong it will protect that fingernail polish and I put a drop and let it dry on this one jig right here that I was going to show in another video but this right here uh, I think this is a great video to show this you can see that drop of that UV risen and I just want to show you how stout this stuff is this stuff i could take it out and throw it on concrete and it's not going to do nothing to it you can beat and bang you will lose this jig before uh this right here starts cracking and coming loose when you once put uv resin on it's there to stay it's going to protect those eyes it's going to protect that fingernail polish and it really makes those jigs pop out it gives them a nice shiny look absolutely love it now the uv resin that i use this little bottle right here is a 0 0.5 ounce. I gave $8 for this a while back. $8 for 0.5 ounce. I went to Hobby Lobby. I was back in the crafting section. And right here is what I found. This uh, dries clear. And as you can see right down here, this is the hard type. I got 4 ounces of this. A full bottle. For $13.99. At the time, that was at the time, back in December, I got four ounces of UV resin compared to 0.5 for like eight bucks for like right at $14. Now, the way that I use this, I just make sure you know there's no uh, UV light around here in my YouTube room. And I'll just pop that top off of it. And at Walmart, you can go to the crafting section and you can get like 25 of these little brushes right here. Real soft bristle. You can get them for like a dollar for 25 of them. I got a whole bunch of them over there. And I'll just dip right down in that UV resin. Kind of just wipe it off a little bit. You can see right there it is on the brush. And then I just go loosen my vise up. Or if you don't have a vise, grab a hold of that hook. And I just wipe over it. I just give it a nice coat over it. Nothing fancy. And I just wipe it on. You don't want to put this on thick. Trust me. This hard top UV resin a little bit goes a long way. And I just wipe all over that uh, jig head. Making sure I'm covering all of that fairness polish. Making sure I'm getting over those eyes. And it will even out for you. You may have some brush strokes in it. But when you once get done painting all of that on, it will even out just like paint, just like the fingernail polish. And that's it. When you once get this done right here, if you want to save your brush, just put it in a piece of aluminum foil. Wrap it up. The next time you get ready to do some jig heads, you can take it out. It'll still be wet. It'll be ready for the next jigs that you will be adding the UV resin to. And you can see what a nice shine that it puts on this you can make you can see how it makes that eye pop out i mean it just puts a nice shiny finish to these and when this once gets hard this is going to be rock hard just like that last jig head i showed you right here and i use it on my musky jigs my striper jigs and this is absolutely amazing stuff right here you can pick up from hobby lobby and then when you once get done, if you don't have a UV light, you can pick them up. They're pretty cheap on Amazon and places. You can just put them on a little rack like I showed you at the beginning of the video. Find Get you a nice bright sunny day where there's not going to be no pets or no kids or nobody around. Set it out and just, just let them sit there. They'll cure in a matter of seconds, but I usually just let them sit there if I don't need them super fast. 
And when I come back, they are rock hard and they're ready to be tied up. But that's how simple it is using that UV resin right there. Well, guys, I took them out there. We had a bright, sunny day today. <clears throat> I set them out for about five minutes, and these babies are ready to be tied, ready to be took fishing if you're going to tip them with a minnow or anything like that. And UV resin gets the job done. One reason I love it and the way that powder coating is getting more expensive and the steps you got to go through with it and stuff you can just get you endless colors in fair enough polish uh la colors best on the market in my opinion i've used a ton of different types over the years different brands and stuff been doing this for quite a while and i've settled with la colors you can do your oranges your chartreuses uh you can use like clear flakes and pink and then uh like silver you can just let your imagination run wild and you don't have to worry about that fair enough polish getting hit uh, bumping up against rock and wood whether, whether you're fishing rivers or lakes and chipping and stuff when you let uv risen to it and like i said take it out in the sun put it like on a uh, styrofoam minnow bucket do you a bunch of uv resin and just stick them around on that styrofoam or get you a paper box and just stick them in as long as they stay separated or you can use a good old UV light like the one I got here. But I prefer getting a lot of them clear coated. Then just take them out on a sunny day. Leave them sitting out. Let Mother Nature with that UV light from that sun. Within a couple minutes it's cured and you're at the vice tying your jigs up. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And Jeffro, I hope I answered your question on painting jig heads. If anybody's got any more questions or anything like that about tying jigs, materials or anything like that. Uh, drop a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer. I'm always here to try to help people out if possible because that's what it's all about as fishermen and hunters. You know, we're always learning each and every day and it's always good to ask a question if you need to have one answered. But until next time, guys, if you liked the video, I hope you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed. Also, follow us over on Facebook, Instagram. we got some TikTok started. We're also getting a clapper started. All that links is right down in the description as well. Until next time, stay safe out there on the water, whether you're at the lake or the river. And we'll see you right here at Hills and Gills in the next one. Have a great day.